Then y'all can start going into Discord, adafruit.it slash Discord, and we will start answering some questions soon. Okay, top secret. Top secret. So people are liking the Pi Portal. The idea of having an ESP32 Wi-Fi coprocessor, which is kind of what we're experimenting with the Pi Portal, seems to be working out, uh, which is great. Um, so we decided let's make a couple boards for it. So this is an airlift uh, breakout board. So it just kind of has all the minimum you need to add an ESP32 Wi-Fi. And uh, you made it uh, last weekend. You came up with a cute logo design and name called Airlift. We also have a Featherwing version. Um, so it uses the SPI and a couple pins, and you can plug it onto any Feather uh, other than the ESP8266, which wouldn't make sense to add it to there anyways. And then you get uh, um, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth edition. So it's got the ESP32. Um, some I put on the power supply just in case you know you the power supply wasn't good from the feather you'd have extra power. We said an RGB LED and I also added a, um, a Wi-Fi the coprocessor which actually you don't see yeah. here I added it later but a, a ECC 608 uh, secure coprocessor maybe we'll have an option for that as well. So this will be handy for the Metro uh, the Feather M4s. Um, for the Metro M4 we're wrapping up the Wi-Fi add-on version of that. We actually worked on this for a couple months now. Um, but still screen's getting done, and I think the CircuitPython definition is being wrapped up. So uh, ditto, it's a Metro M4, which is a lovely chip, but now we've added an ESP32 as a Wi-Fi coprocessor, and then you can use it to connect to the internet, and it works great in Arduino and CircuitPython. Okay, and then we have one, a slightly different version of it. Yeah, the light is just going to be, I think, less memory. I think we're going to have a, a less expensive version that kind of is a little bit more bare bones, um, and then a mega version that's like, okay, you want all the RAM. Okay, and for folks who watch our repos and stuff, you're really like, what's this Pi Badge thing? Well, this is what the Pi Badge is. Yeah, and I have one here. Hold on. We can show it off. Um, oh my goodness, this ESPI gets a little warm. So this is, um, we're finishing this up, but it's, it, it's a, it's basically, you know, what can we fit onto a credit card sized uh, PCB. So this is one credit card. Credit cards are like bigger than you think. Like they're actually quite, quite large. Um, so this is a 1.0 inch display and I got these really sweet silicone buttons. I've never seen these before. They're tactile buttons, but instead of just being um, hard top, they have these silicone inserts and they feel great. Um, so I, I'm getting some of these for the store and also for this board, but it, they're very grippy. So you get the directional pad and A, B, and then select start. And then on the back, um, M4 board with accelerometer and kind of the classic um, stem connections on off switch so you can save power turn on and off uh, speaker I actually am going to drop the headphone jack I'm actually not going to do the headphone jack in the end I think I'm going to put a buzzer instead um, RAM a light sensor and uh, maybe a little spot here for a battery so you can have it be portable so maybe like, you know, we're thinking of like, if you were at a conference and you wanted like the ultimate badge, this could be it. Also got some NeoPixels, so you can light them up. I turned them off because they were blinding. But you have a, a display here. Right, right now it's an Arduino, but of course it'll work with CircuitPython as well. Okay. You can see the demo code and this lovely silk screen by Philby. This is the badge. Back in the vault. 